the story of a young couple. You can imagine they're around 25 years old. And the wife, she's pregnant about 21 weeks. And they've gone out for a nice dinner, a joyous occasion in their life, celebrating this pregnancy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them with. And as the night is going on, the woman starts to feel some pain inside of her stomach. She feels that perhaps it may just be some indigestion. But as she goes home that night, the pain in her stomach starts to get worse and worse and worse till she can't sleep at all and she's extremely uncomfortable. She tells her husband, I think something's wrong and I need to go to the hospital. So in the middle of the night, the husband takes his wife to the hospital and they check her into the hospital. After some tests are done, the doctors tell the wife that at 21 weeks, you're now going into labor. And the wife starts to panic. She starts to say, it's too early. I can't go into labor this early. The child won't be safe. And a doctor comes in at that time and he asks the family that if this child is born and its heart is not beating, would you want us to resuscitate the child or not? And the couple, they start to panic even more. Now, Alhamdulillah, they were able to find a way to delay the delivery of the baby for another four days. But four days in a matter of 21 weeks of waiting wasn't that much at all. And after four days, she gave birth to this baby that barely weighed two pounds. It barely weighed two pounds. In fact, so much so, this baby was so small and so tiny that it couldn't even breathe by itself. And it needed help to breathe. It needed help for its blood to circulate inside of its body. And it stayed in the intensive care unit for a very long time. And from time to time, a doctor would come and the doctor would say, you know, this baby, it's not going to survive. Be prepared that it's going to be mentally slow and physically challenged. Until another doctor comes and did an examination of the brain of the baby. And the doctor said, this baby, it has three clots in its brain. There are three places of the brain where the blood is clotting and we need to perform surgery. And we want to ask you, do you think we should continue with this surgery or should we just let the baby die in its natural state? Now you can imagine the worry and panic that is going through the parents that this is the love of their life, you know, witnessing in, their, in front of their own eyes about to pass away. But they said, you know what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought the baby into this world. We will take every single measure to keep it alive. So the baby went for surgery. And it had surgery three different times to remove the clots from its brain. And now as they're waiting for the baby to recover, people would come and visit the couple. And they would ask the couple, is there anything that we can do for you? And all they would tell the people is, just make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps this baby alive. We can't afford to lose this baby. The man goes home at night, leaving his wife in the hospital, and he stands up to pray to Allah. He raises his hands to the sky, and he says, Oh Allah, I have no hope other than you. Oh Allah, I have no entrustee of my affairs other than you. Oh Allah, there's no one that can protect this baby other than you. So, oh Allah, show us your miracles in keeping this baby alive and keeping this baby healthy. Alhamdulillah, two years have gone by now since that baby was born. And it is now walking and now talking just like any other average baby. Without any deficiencies, without any shortcomings. Alhamdulillah.